Welcome to Electra Online, and now we're going to do an example where we're going to compare two acids, one that's weak and one that's much weaker than that, and to see when they start with the same initial concentration, how one will have a higher percent ionization and one will have a lower percent ionization. So here we have the two acids. We have hydrofluoric acid and hydrocyanic acid. And so they both start at 0.6 molar concentration. One has, of course, a larger uh, uh, a large ionization constant and the other one has a smaller ionization constant. So let's see how that works out. First of all, we write down the equations. So we start out with the hydrofluoric acid and in an aqueous solution, and it'll partially ionize into hydrogen and the conjugate base. So we can say that initially we start out with a concentration of 0.6 molar, 0 molar, and 0 molar. Then the change will be, uh, will decrease by x, and these will be increased by x. x, of course, is the increased concentration of the hydrogen ion and the fluorine ion. And here that will be the decrease in concentration of the hydrofluoric acid. So at the end, the end result will be that we end up with 0.6 minus x molar of hydrofluoric acid in solution. X and X will be the concentration after we reach the stabilization the equilibrium position. Okay, then we can say that the ionization constant is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion times the concentration of the conjugate base divided by the final concentration of the acid in the solution. So this will be equal to X times X divided by 0.6 minus X and that should be equal to the ionization constant of 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4. Now, we're going to go on a limb and assume that x is a very small number compared to 0.6, so we can say that this is approximately equal to x squared divided by 0.6 being equal to 7.1 times 10 to the minus 4. So we can only say that if the percent ionization is less than 5% as a rule of thumb. If this is true, then we can say that x squared is equal to, and I need my calculator for that, so 0 0.6 times 7.1 uh, e to the 4 minus equals, so that would be 4.26 times 10 to the minus 5, and so when we take the square root of that, oh, minus 4, not minus 5, and when I take the square root of that, I get 0 0.0206, so from that, we're going to calculate the percent ionization. So the percent ionization is equal to the ratio of the hydrogen ion found in solution divided by the original concentration of the acid. So I'll just indicate that. That's the original concentration. So this is equal to 0 0.0206 divided by 0 0.6. And then convert that to percent divided by 0.6 equals, that would be 3.44%. So that's the percent ionization. Since it's less than 5%, my approximation is indeed valid. All right, let's do this again with the next acid. The next one is hydrocyanic acid. So uh, again, we use this equation, HCN, in an aqueous solution, will partially ionize to form the hydrogen ion and the conjugate base. And so we start with a, with a um, concentration of 0 0.6, 0 and 0. This one will decrease by whatever the other two will increase by. And so the final concentration will be 0 0.6 minus x, x and x. And again we can say that the, by definition the ionization constant is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion times the concentration of the conjugate base divided by the co final concentration of the acid. And that should equal the 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10. So, so replacing that with the x and x, so we have x times x divided by 0 0.6 minus x equals 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10. And again, I'm going to make the, cause, the, the approximation that x is a very small number. So we can say that we can then replace this by x squared divided by 0 0.6 is equal to 4.9 times 10 to the minus 10. Since k sub a, the 
ionization constant for that acid is so small, we probably made a good call. So we can say then that x squared is equal to uh, 4.9 e to the 10 minus times 0.6 equals, that would be 2.94 times 10 to the minus 10, and so therefore x is equal to, take the square root of that, that would be 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5, which is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion. Okay, now we're going to find the percent ionization. So the percent ionization, ionization is equal to the concentration of the hydrogen ion divided by the original concentration of the acid. There we go, times 100%. So this is equal to 1.7 times 10 to the minus 5 divided by, uh, where are we? The initial concentration is 0 0.6. So divide by 0 0.6 equals times 100% equals, so this would be 0.0029%. Wow, that's a much smaller number. So the percent ionization for hydrocyanic gas, uh, I mean acid, is um, much smaller than the percent ionization for hydrofluoric acid, and that would then indicate that this is a much weaker acid compared to this acid. And again, that shows a very weak acid will have a very small percent ionization, a not so weak acid will have a greater percent ionization. A strong acid will have 100% ionization, and that's how we can use that information to find the relative strength of acids.